This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. There are concerns about a new bill which would ban gang patches at schools, hospitals and public swimming pools. The MP behind it says people often feel intimidated by patched gang members. But could it be enforced? Here's our political editor, Corin Dan. Gang patches can be intimidating. However, MPs are threatening to strip gang members of the right to wear their patches in government-owned buildings. Gang members, I say this. If you go to a government premises with a patch, your government will not serve you. Instead, a policeman will. Under the proposed law, those who enter a government department or even a council swimming pool with a patch face arrest, a $2,000 fine and the destruction of their gang insignia. But the Public Service Association says the law would put receptionists, who are often women, at risk. You can't come in here, we won't serve you, and I'm calling the cops. So what happens to her in the meantime? It's, uh, it's an ill thought through proposal and I hope it very, very much that it doesn't proceed. This bill is modelled on a bylaw that allows the banning of patches in some public places in Whanganui. That bylaw has since faced legal challenges and has had to be modified. This bill avoids such problems by specifically listing recognised gang patches in the legislation. But Mungrel Mob members say it's unreasonable. Just because they're wearing a patch, they mean they're um, looking for trouble or starting any trouble. Just, um, yeah, it's just a way of life. The Mana Party says it also believes the patch ban is a waste of time. It's just a completely dumb idea. I mean, if they, if, they, if they come up with a stupid idea like that, I'll probably wear one of them into Parliament and see what happens. It's a promise Mr Harawera may have to follow through on, as Todd McClay believes he can gather the numbers to pass the gang patch bill into law. Corin Dan, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team.